adversity. They're a tough out. What do you think it's yes, going sir. to take to knock off the Wildcats and bring home another conference championship to Tuskegee? Well, you know, Fort Valley, they're, they're a pretty good team. And their defense, they, they got speed. I know, de- I know they uh defensive backs. They're, they're uh, long, and they're, and they're very fast. So with our offense this week, we've just been practicing hard, trying to get ready, doing extra drills, standing in the field room just a little bit more. And the coaches keep stressing us to don't overlook our opponent. So that really helped us out a lot by going in mentally and physically and being ready to play on Saturday. Well, Jamarcus, we want to wish you all the best in the championship game against Fort Valley State this weekend. Congratulations on another great season at Tuskegee. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Chicka, 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 you, chicka, I know, because you like that little chicka, engine that chicka, could chicka, stuff. So, chicka, chicka. great piece with Jamarcus <laughs> Ezel. But his opposition, the Fort Valley State Broncos, are 5-4. and four. They had a four-game winning streak. Mm-hmm. But it got snapped last week against Albany State in the Fountain City Classic. We previewed that game on last week's episode. Yes, we did. Now, the Wildcats are third in the conference in scoring, 25.2. Remember, Tuskegee is second at 25.6. So it's just a that's hair. Not, yeah, that's not that bad. They're... But as a math person, you would appreciate the little decimal point Right, 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 there. right. They're led by quarterback Jermaine Slade. He's super selective and accurate with his throws because he's tops in passer efficiency. That means, like, obviously how efficient. He wants to throw accurate, like yeah. on point. He'll hold it and until wait till it's a, a good throw. Exactly. Ah. Uh, and he's always on target because his efficiency rating is at 141.5. Okay. Now, I want a double prediction from you. Who's going to win the battle of the bands between Fort Valley State and Tuskegee? And then who's going to win the game? Well, putting you on the spot. Well, I'm going to first go with the best of the best, the entertainment, which is the battle of the bands. And I'm going to who have the best. Ta- I'm adding something in there. And who's going to have the best tailgating section? Well, the best tailgating. Section who's going to have far, the best barbecue ribs? Well, who's going to have the best chicken? Well, the best tailgating session by far is going to be Tuskegee. I mean, because they have, you know, because it's Alabama. Is, we're talking about Tuskegee, yeah. Alabama, Fort Valley, Georgia. Yeah. So you're going yeah. with Alabama over Georgia. Yeah. Okay. I got for the food. For, 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 the, for, the, for the fan, for the tailgating, for everything. All right. Yeah. Who's going to win the Battle of the Bands? I'm going to have to go with Fort Valley because I'm going to have to say there's I would some, take Fort Valley's. I've seen, some, I've, I've heard both of these bands play. I'll take Fort Valley State's band. Well, I'm and a going, close one. I'm and I'll going take Fort with Valley Fort State's Valley band. because those band. are some country boys and some country girls. And country boys and girls know some a little thing about music. And I know Alabama is country, but Georgia is more country. That's debatable as far as the country level. But who that, are we taking in the final score? But who go check me, though? Your country. So I guess you would be the, the you know, <laughs> rate the barometer okay. for the level okay. of country. You're from okay. Pine Bluff, Arkansas. You're right. You're right. You're right. Final Jeopardy. Who's going to win the game? Tuskegee. You got a score? I'm rolling with Tuskegee, too. 27-12. Wow. 27-12. We'll roll with that. That'll be the official married to the game score. Tuskegee 27-12. Winners of the SISC football championship. Good one. Okay. Stats are great, but there's so much more than just the numbers to each story. For this, we go beyond the box score. Our glorious return with Beyond the Box score. Yes, and what better way to do it than what just happened sports. What just happened sports. Now, you're playing in their fantasy football league. And I'm rocking it out. Don't don't get it twisted now. Well, you're five and four, and you're in sixth place. And that means rocking it out. Well, you're better than I am in my fantasy league. But you have a better roster. That's I don't know how, I- but... The computer I, lucked up and drafted your roster. No, no. And I'm, I stink I at my running back it. position. I picked it by a computer generator. Moving right along from the Fantasy Football League. Mm-hmm. Because What Just Happened Sports is a great organization. It's for people like yourselves, where the women are asking their significant others, okay, what just happened here? What just happened there? And that's their way of explaining what's yes. going on. And, and you and you helped me to the minimum, because you really, what you helped me with this is sport. Moving right and, along. Yeah, yes. This time, what just happened, sports. Uh-huh. They're busy with the I Direct Doc Turkey Tennis Tournament. Now, that is a tongue twister. It is. And, and it's, I love it. It's a charitable event that they have going on 
to fight multiple sclerosis. Yes, which is a very serious, debilitating disease. It is. This is awesome. And yeah, and we it's catch up awesome. with Melissa Anthony. She's the head of What Just Happened Sports. She breaks down everything that is going on with the tennis tournament. It's up in Johns Creek, Georgia, North Fulton County. Beautiful area up there. It is a very beautiful area up there. That's right. And this Sunday, November 12th, is when they have their great event. So cool to catch up with Melissa to break everything down for this tennis tournament, raising money for MS. Check it out. Hey, we got Melissa Anthony from What Just Happened Sports back on the show once again. Thanks for being a part of Married to the Game, Melissa. Hey, Rory and Lakita, how are you guys doing? Awesome. Oh, oh, we're doing wonderful. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing awesome, too. Thank you for having me back on. I'm excited. I'm excited. I was all prepared for it. Got up at like 3 o'clock this morning, put on my <laughs> What Just Happened Sports t-shirt. I'm in What Just Happened Sports mode. I'm ready to do this. All right, Lakita girl, send me a picture with you wearing your t-shirt. Yes. Oh, give me some shine time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sounds good. So tell us about the Turkey Tennis Tournament. We are having our fifth annual Turkey Tennis Tournament. And this year we even have a company that uh, has bought the naming rights to the tournament. So this year it's called the I Direct Doc Turkey Tennis Tournament for Multiple Sclerosis. Um, so we have this, this is our fifth year doing it. Uh, we have uh, benefiting the Multiple Sclerosis Center of Atlanta. Um, really fun tournament. Uh, it includes all levels of tennis players. Uh, the players get a new partner every 15 minutes, so it gives everybody an opportunity to uh, meet new folks. Um, it's called Luck of the Draw format, so uh, we literally pick names out of a jar. So, you know, it could be a 14-year-old female partnered up with uh, another female and playing two guys. So you just never know who you might get. Uh, but we have a lot of fun. Well, that makes it all the more exciting. And I love the fact that how you pair, you could pair up someone who's like, like us, a novice and an expert. You can get a novice and an expert in it. You know, it's, it, it, I mean, you just never know who you're going to get. So, um, you know, we think that makes it fair. Yes. Makes it, like you said, we think we, we think that makes it exciting. And, uh, and we still do have a final. So, you know, um, and it usually the folks who are more experienced end up in our finals. Uh, you know, they can, you win points no matter what. And if you have to sit out around because we have a lot of folks, we have uh, six tennis courts going. But sometimes we have so many folks that you have to send, sit out around. So you get points, you know, if you have to sit out and, you know, folks get to meet, meet and mingle that way too. But uh, even with all of that, usually the better players end up in the finals and, and battle it out. Sunday, November 12th at 1 p.m. Uh, in Johns Creek at River Glen Subdivision. Um, they can, anyone can go to register for the tournament. And once again, players of all levels, ages 14 and above, uh, can go to the Multiple Sclerosis Center of Atlanta's website. Uh, that web address is mscatl.org slash turkey tennis. So once again, that's msc at atl dot org slash turkey tennis. Tell us about the evolution of this event from day one till now. You know, Roy, that's a great question. You know, uh, when I was growing up, I um, had a couple of relatives who had multiple sclerosis, and uh, you know, it's just you know things that happen in your childhood sort of stick with you and it was kind of traumatic in our family and uh, then I had a, a really good neighbor I thought a lot of who had to stop playing tennis because uh, she was stricken with MS and so you know I said what can I do uh, in the tennis community and this woman was definitely involved in a lot of different tennis events and around town she was a coordinator for a couple of the leagues and you know I just wanted to be able to give back so she helped me she is very able bodied uh, even though she has them she gets around very well so she's on the team and helped us put together this, this annual event okay. uh, so you know our numbers grow every year we have more participants we have um, more sponsors every year and so you know we've just been very 
very fortunate in the way things have gone. So and so players get a t shirt, they get goodie bags, uh, and we think they get to meet really cool folks. What are some of the heartwarming stories and the highlights of patients who benefit from this event? You know, it's very interesting. Um, the Multiple Sclerosis Center of Atlanta, uh, you know, they are a nonprofit, and uh, they would have to provide the numbers for you on how many patients they have coming through. Okay. But uh, we try to get folks with MS as much involved in volunteering with our tournament, ter- tournament as possible. And as a matter of fact, the uh, lady who will be doing our warm-up is an MS patient at the center. Um, if you looked at her, you'd never know. Um, she's beautiful. Uh, I've worked with her in the past, um, and she can't wait to help us do the warm-up. She doesn't play tennis, but, you know, she, she's gorgeous, works every day, and, you know, has children and all, you know, just lives a normal life with MS. We wish you all the best, Melissa, at the iDirect Doc Turkey Tennis Tournament. Say that three times fast. (laughs) It's going to be fantastic. Good tennis action. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. And thank you guys for having us on. We're going to get you guys out of the turkey tennis tournament next year now. Yeah. I want you to grab your rackets and and be brushing up. Going to be gobbling up all the opponents. I'll try to channel my inner Arthur Ashe and and get out there and see what I can do. That's right, our inner Arthur Ashe and, and inner, and inner uh, William sisters, um, yeah, or Lakita. So, yeah, <laughs> let's work it. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Thank you. Take care now. Well, the clock's hit triple zeros, and that's all the time we have for today. It's been a thin slice of heaven chilling here with you. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Marry2Game1. That's the number two and the number one. You can follow us on Instagram, at marry to the game Podcast also with the number two, and like our Facebook page, Married to the Game. We'll catch y'all on the rebound. Peace. Married to the Game was written by Rory Chirac and Lakita Chirac for Chirac Media Group. The podcast was mixed and produced by Traxa Taylor. For more information, email us at rchirac at chiracmediagroup.com.